Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Lens Club. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna go over the five mistakes men make when they're texting or messaging a woman. Now this is usually in the front end of the relationship, but it also can be in the early parts of the relationship. Maybe you've been on a couple of dates, but if you are making these texting mistakes, she's going to either kind of get tired of you, get bored of you. She might throw you in the friend zone. Other guys I'm sure she's talking to might, she might find them more engaging. The idea is if you get a girl's number, first you have to understand she gave it to you for a reason. So there is some type of an attraction there. Your goal is to engage her emotions to get you more attractive and of course, this goes without saying, and we'll get into this a little bit further, the whole purpose of texting, messaging, even phone calls is to move the interaction or that experience into an actual date. So let's get into it. The very first mistake most men make when they're first dating or first texting or talking to a girl is you're just boring. Listen, you gotta understand, especially if you met her on a dating app, she's actively looking for somebody. So don't think you're the only one she's talking to. Look at women in Facebook and Instagram. They're getting bombarded with DMs from dudes all over the place all the time. And most of those guys are carbon copies of one another. They're like, hey, what's up? You're hot. What are you doing? It's it's. There's no response to that. She's heard it over and over again. So you want to be different. Is it the idea to always entertain her? Absolutely not. But you want to set yourself up a little bit different, set yourself a little bit above that herd mentality. So a good thing to do is start asking her questions, but keep it very light. Keep it very funny, but not goofy. Ask her some questions. If she asks you questions, sure, go, you know, respond to them. But don't use one word answers. Actually answer the question. Because oftentimes what it is, is she might like you. She might think you're, you know, good looking. But if you're sending one word text or you're like every other guy out there, like, hey, what are you doing? What's up? She's not going to think you're very intelligent. And she's like, dude, you're, you're just like everybody else. So I often like to do like story time, like maybe something cool happened, you know, during that day, or maybe you had this weird dream. You can go ahead and tell her it as long as it's not a creepy dream, but you can kind of play around with it. And this actually engages her emotions. She's like, this guy's pretty interesting. Like, I want to know a little bit more about him. Just set yourself a little bit above everybody else. And she will respond to that better. Texting should be fun. You, you definitely want to mix a little bit of flirting and we'll get into that in a minute. But the idea is to engage her emotions. Give her a reason to actually want to respond to you. Oftentimes these one word answers, she's heard it before guys, she's not gonna respond to you. Maybe she'll do it once, maybe twice but eventually she's just gonna kind of get over it. Other dudes probably might have a little bit more game in, than you. She's probably more engaged in those conversations. So of course, she's gonna lean more towards them and you don't wanna do that. And the next part of this boring thing, I just wanna add to this. Keep the texting very Short. You don't want to go through these long soliloquies about your life and just vomit out your life to her. She's going to be like, ah, okay, save that for the actual date. Because oftentimes when guys send these long paragraphs and these long messages, it does come across a little bit needy, a little bit desperate. You have things to do. You want to get to the point with her and move the interaction to an actual date. So keep it light, keep it fun, tell a story, ask her some questions, all with a little bit of flirting thrown in there, but always keep the goal in mind is 
got to get her on a date, got to ask her out. And we'll get into that part in a minute. The second one kind of pairs to this is you don't know when to stop texting. Oftentimes I see this from my ex-girlfriends or even girls that I know that they, they'll show me. They're like, dude, this dude is literally having a conversation with himself. Or this dude messaged me and I, because I didn't get right back to him, he sent me another one and another one and another one. Treat texting like tennis. You send something over, again, make it a little bit engaging, give her a reason to respond, and then wait, relax. Women have shit to do. They have jobs, they have lives. She's a single mom, she's probably dealing with kids. Give her a chance to actually engage and respond to your first text message. And whatever subjective time frame you have in your mind that is a reasonable amount of time to text you back, throw that out the window because women sometimes are flaky. Sometimes they actually forget to text you because they do get busy, but she'll get back to it. And the second part of this is when she does respond, don't bring up the fact, it took you long enough. I was getting worried about you. Shrug it off. She isn't engaged enough with you. She likes you, but eh, you know, she's probably talking to other dudes. So don't be the guy that, oh my gosh, she didn't respond in 30 minutes. Are you okay? What are you doing? Like you're, you're, you're getting your nerves up for no reason. Just relax. And look at, you should have things to do too. You shouldn't be the one who's just waiting by your phone for this one girl to text you back. Hopefully you have a job. Hopefully you got responsibilities and you got shit in your life going on. And when she does respond back, great, perfect. She lobbed the ball over the fucking net back to you. So then you can respond. The idea is keep it light. Don't over text. This goes back to that over communication, these long soliloquies. Keep it very short, very sweet, all with the ideas. You're trying to engage her just enough to get a comfort level to actually move it to a date. Over texting also signals to a woman neediness and desperation. You have to remember that. She gets bombarded. Women are very good at this. They're very good at sizing somebody up. And I've actually heard women that I've dated in the past that I purposely wait to respond to somebody's text for a couple of days to see what they do. And she says, Jared, you know what most do? I'll get 50 fucking texts within that time. And then they've already detonated themselves because it shows to her, this dude's needy, this dude's desperate. There's nothing else going on in his life. And she doesn't want an emotional tampon. She doesn't want to get into a relationship with a guy where she's like, dude, I got a fucking grown man who's a child. Like I have to regulate his emotions. That's a man's job in a way is to regulate a woman's emotions. You shouldn't be the one to feel needy and to feel desperate just because she didn't text you back right away. And here's another thing. If she does take a long time to text you back, remember, everyone says I don't play games. It's fucking bullshit. If you send a message and it takes her two hours to respond back, well, you should wait a little while too because some guys are literally waiting by their phone and as soon as she responds, bam, she's like in seconds, another text is queued up. Just wait. If you're doing something with your kids, maybe have homework, a work assignment, you're busy, well, just finish what you're doing and then respond to her. The next one or the third one is, I see this a lot and I just don't get it, but you think with your dick. So many messages that I've seen, even guys that have helped coach around this, around these ideas is they're overly sexual front end in their texting and being overly sexual and flirting are vastly different things. She understands why you're talking to her. Women aren't dumb. And as a matter of fact, women are just as much interested in sex as men are, probably more. 
So she does understand that at some point, sex is gonna come up. At some point, if you actually get her on a date and you move it to a relationship, sex is inevitable. So why keep bringing it up and telling her, hey baby, I, I'm, I'll give you the best three hours of your life or relax with that stuff. There's flirting and then there's being over, overly sexual. Dick pics. I said it. Where do guys think that sending a picture of your junk is ever a good idea? Now, if it's your girlfriend or wife and she's like, honey, let me see that thing, whatever, cool. Get some cool lighting, get a shadow behind you, make it look big, like bam, baby, you like that. But motherfuckers, if you've never met her and she just gave you her number and you're being overly sexual and then bam, you send fucking stinky pinky out there, it's over. There's never once ever in the history of mankind that a dude sends a dick pic and the girl comes running over to the house says, I gotta have that. I need to have Jim's fucking schlong right now. This is an amazing pic. It doesn't fucking happen. She'll block you. She'll screenshot that shit and send it to her girlfriends and be like, look at this motherfucker. Stop sending dick pics. Stop being overly sexual in your messages. Just relax. She understands if it goes down the road to a relationship or even if it's casual sex, the ending will be sex. So you don't have to keep pushing it. It's probably inevitable if you play your cards right and you're not a douchebag. No dick pics, none. Knock that shit out. Talking about being overly sexual, now we're talking about the extreme end. You don't flirt with her at all. Okay, so there's two ends. Overly sexual, you're just being creepy, you're just being weird, and then the other side, you're being the nice guy. You're not flirting, you're not engaging with it all, you're not testing to see where you're kinda at in that dynamic. You're being safe. And a safe guy is a nice guy, and we've done videos on the nice guy, and I get it, guys. You get a girl's number, maybe you haven't dated in a while, and you do want her to like you, and you're being respectful, obviously. I always say be respectful to a woman. You're being enter entertaining, and you're talking to her, you're engaging with her. But after a while, if you don't really show her interest by flirting, by just dabbling in a little bit, she's going to start getting the idea that this motherfucker just wants me as friendship. And I get it. It's awesome just to talk to a girl, especially if you're texting or you're on the phone with her. It's nice to talk to a girl, but if your idea is to move it to a date, you can't just talk to her without flirting, without showing any interest, because then she's going to agree with you sooner or later. Like, I guess he doesn't like me. I guess he just wants me as friends. And then she's gonna open the door for you and walk your ass into friend zone. This is where I think most guys fail, is because they play it too safe. And I get it, they don't wanna be rejected. No guy wants to be rejected. But look at this other way, you have her number. She, you got it somehow, you're talking to her on maybe a dating app, but she is interacting with you. So wouldn't logic tell you, well, she does like me to a degree, so maybe I should escalate this a little bit more. You are supposed to be the man. You're supposed to kind of lead that interaction. So just test it out, flirt a little bit. Don't be weird about it, but flirt. And oh, you got, man, you got nice curves or whatever. And see how she hits that ball back after you send a message on flirting. It's going to engage her more. Then she's gonna be like, oh, okay, this guy does like me. Oh, oh, I didn't know. I've done plenty of videos on flirting. You can go back into my YouTube catalog. As a matter of fact, click down below is our private men's group of mentorship. I've done specific videos on flirting. You can check that below. It is a paid service, $99 a month, hundreds of hours of videos, content, essays, eBooks, 
And then you also get to interact with guys within the group. So check that out. If you actually really want to level your dating life up or really your interpersonal dynamics, then get into that private membership, private mentoring group. I've helped so many men on a mass scale. This is how I can keep my prices low because I can help multiple men at once going through generally the same issue. So check that link below. Also, if you're not ready to make that move yet, consider subscribing to our free Facebook group. That link is down below. Tons of dudes in there. We talk about all sorts of issues to include dating, to include frame control, to include masculinity. So take a look at those two links below. Join one of them, you won't be sorry. Let's get on to the last one because this is the number one mistake men make. You don't shoot your shot. You take too long to actually ask her on a date. Guys, she gave you her number. You found her on a dating app. You message her and she's responding back to you. You met her through friends. What have you, you have communication with this woman. Most men will just be like, I really want her to like me, but I'm, I'm, I don't want her to get rejected. So I'm just gonna keep talking to her on the phone. I'm just gonna keep texting her. I, I just wanna let her know that I'm this special unicorn. Fuck that. Move it to a date. You can't possibly, or let me say, she can't possibly track her emotions on texting. She has to actually be in front of you. And really you can't either. So you have to move it to a date. If you don't shoot your shot and ask her to go out with you, eventually she's gonna get bored of this conversation because again, she's just gonna say, I think he just wants me as a friend. I'm not sure, but he hasn't asked me out. I'm getting confused. You have to understand women are just as scared about dating. You're a new dude. She doesn't really know you only through texting. She's just as scared and probably confused as you are. Why don't you guys figure it out together? Go on a date, ask her out, shoot your shot. And when she says yes, and I promise you nine times out of 10, if you actually do this, she'll say yes, plan the date accordingly. We've done videos on planning the date and take her out. And now you have a face to a name. You get to see her in 3D. She gets to see you in 3D. You can actually gauge emotions and you can actually take that relationship a little bit further. But if you just play safe and play small and you never ask her out, eventually this is how she's gonna just put you in friend zone because she's gonna view it like, I think he just wants me to be a friend. Maybe he's gay, I don't, I don't know. Shoot your shot, it's okay. Chances are really good if you made it this far, she's going to say yes. So there you go. You just avoid a friend zone at this point. You avoided being creepy because you're not sending these weird long messages. You're doing the right things. Now you can go out on a date. And if you want a really good sentence that you can use literally on all women, and it's not too forward, you just say, hey Beth, I really like you know talking to you on the phone and all this stuff. When are you free to get together? and then shut the fuck up. She's gonna say, oh my God, Jared, um, I'm free Thursday at seven, I'm free at Friday at six, whatever the fuck she says, here's the way you know that she's interested. If she gives you two different dates, that means she really wants to see you because she doesn't know your schedule yet. So if she gives you a few different options, she's really highly motivated to see you. If she says, oh, Jared, um, I don't know, I, this, this week's really busy. Uh, next week I got this going. It kind of tells you she's not quite there yet. And that's okay, but at least you know. So then if that happens, a very quick thing to do is like, cool, hey, not a problem. Hey, I gotta run. Once you know your schedule, just get back to me and then stop talking to her because she might be a woman who just wants validation. She just wants a texting buddy. And if she's not giving you a date and a time that she's free and she's kind of being flaky, chances are she wants a texting buddy or chances are she's testing you. And women are very good at that. So if you keep bringing it up in next conversation, you're like, oh, what do you do in the week after then? Oh, I don't know. Well, how about next 
January 23rd, are you busy? Again, desperate. So if she doesn't give you a date, hey, Beth, not a problem, cool. I got to fly, but let me know when you're free. I'd love to see you. And then don't talk to her. If it is a test in a couple days, she's going to respond like, hey, Jared, um, this Friday, something fell through. I'm not sure if you're busy, but I'd like, I'd like to see you. Or this Saturday, it could be a test. But you won't know unless you ask her out. That's all I got on this, guys. My name is Jared Schoomaker. If you found videos like this helpful, you know what to do. Consider subscribing to the channel. It helps the channel grow. Blah, blah, blah. You guys know all that. Hit the bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's something else I'm missing or add a comment to it. Love to hear your comments to this and consider sharing this with a friend who is having problems in this department. With that, have a great day. We'll talk soon.